Hello once again Purple Eagles fans and welcome to PurpleEagles.com. My name is Todd Callen, the radio voice of the Purple Eagles basketball team. Joined today by Juan Mendez, 2005 grad from NU. And, and Juan, first of all, welcome to Alumni Weekend here at Niagara University for the basketball program. Thanks and for having me. And this is a big weekend for Juan Mendez, folks, as he will have his banner unfurled atop the Gallagher Center in a halftime ceremony later today. First of all, Juan, what does that mean to you? What, how about the sound of that, that your number and your name will be up in the rafters forever? Well, for me, it's, uh, it's an honor. You know, I'm coming to Niagara as a freshman. I would never think that my name will be pulled out of the banners, I mean, in the gym, you know, a banner of my name. I mean, I would never believe that. That's historic. Not a lot of people have done it who come to Niagara. And, you know, it's a blessing. You know, it's the hard work, dedication of myself and my teammates. Let's talk about that, your teammates. I'm sure that they had a big hand in a player, folks, that had over 2,000 points, over 1,000 rebounds, just a ton of awards and accolades throughout his career. But you're, you're right, Juan, you didn't do it alone. I uh, had a chance to visit with Alvin Cruz last night and Tramel Darden, two very big pieces, Sharon Fisher as well. But talk about your teammates and how they helped you reach such lofty heights. Well, these guys would push me every day in practice. You know, I mean, when it came to basketball these days, it was like it was like work. It was our job. You know, we, we loved it. We had passion for it, and we wanted to be the best. It didn't matter that we came to Niagara, you know, mid-major school at the time. Uh, we came here to just play basketball, and, and you know, we had love for the game, and we we enjoyed it to the point where they pushed me to get to higher heights, uh, you know, with, with my game. And, and you know, I have to thank them every day. 2005, you guys cut down the nets. Yeah in downtown Buffalo to punch a ticket to the NCAA tournament. That was really the culmination, though, of, of a lot of seasons of hard work. When did you think, you know what, this is a special group. We've got the right ingredients here to get us to the NCAA tournament. I knew it, um, I think, preseason my, my junior year, because I, I still believe to this day the 2004, the 2003, 2004 team was the better team, even though we made it in 2005, right? I thought, I said to myself, look, this we have something special here. And with the guys we have, with this nucleus, we, we're, we're going to be able to go to the tournament and, and be successful as long as guys just buy in. Because it's all about buying in and believing and having that culture and that will to just say, you know what, it's our time. And it was our time in 2005. I remember some of those games leading up to that season. And I just, it seems like the Manhattan Jaspers and the Purple Eagles <laughs> had games that you will never forget, I'm sure, based on that reaction. Talk a little bit about that rivalry and maybe how tough losses helped as a springboard to get you guys to where you needed to be. You know, we had real tough losses, uh, which you guys know, and, and like Manhattan was one of those teams that we had to get over that hump to be able to be successful. There was one game, I think it was my senior year, here at the Gallagher Center. Alvin Cruz, floater, we won the game, I think, by like a point or two. And that was, the, I think, the turning point of that, like, that, like, that, 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 that era of us not being able to defeat Manhattan. We finally did it, and it was like a breath of fresh air, and now we just have to move forward and, you know, think about, let's, let's win this max. You know, I, I, I wanted to bring up that name, Alvin Cruz, and I know you guys are, are longtime friends, yes, teenage awesome. friends, and, and you end up going to play college basketball together. How did he make you better? Alvin would always push me, he'd always be honest, he'd always tell me the truth, he would always tell me, look, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm right, I'm right, but he'll always push me to the point where it's like, look, you gotta do it for the team, don't do it for yourself, be a team player, which I am, which I've always been, but he was that guy that would always keep me, you know, at bay, who I was as a player. Last night at a, a great dinner, uh, you got up and you spoke a little bit about uh, how you want the current players not to waste the opportunity. Uh, talk a, just a little bit more about that and that you can't take these years for granted and they will go by mm. in, in the snap of a finger. Uh, your advice to, to some of the Purple Eagles that are up and coming. These young players, I, all I tell them is, look, you got to work hard and you got to build your own culture, your own history. You know, I, I did it when I came. I did what I had to do with what I had and I try to take advantage of it. They got to do the same. They got to come out, you know, and just believe in something and, and just go for it. Whether, you know, it might not be the best of circumstances, right? And usually it's not. You got to just come out and, and, and do what you do best and be the best you can be as a person and as a player. Well, Juan Mendez, you were one of the best, and we certainly congratulate you, you. on this honor for Basketball Weekend. And enjoy halftime today when you look up to the top of the Gallagher Center <laughs> and you see your jersey, your name, 
retired forever. So congratulations and always great to visit with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Juan Mendez from the 2005 class here at Niagara University. My name is Todd Kellen. Have a great day, everyone.